Today we're going to turn a ball and experiment with a different technique that's kind of groovy. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to Wolfridge Woodworking. I'm Ed, welcome to my shop. So what we've got here is just a piece of cottonwood um, and it is about seven and a half inches. Well, we're gonna make about a seven and a half inch uh, ball or 190 millimeters. Um, and the depth is going to be somewhere around four inches or 102 uh, millimeters. So today's video is less about the, uh, the bowl shape. Um, you know, you can make you know, hundreds of bowls and they all look the same, but you know, I'm, I wanna make something that's different. And so that's why I'm always experimenting with different techniques. So that's what we're doing today. Today's video is really more about the finishing technique. Uh, I saw uh, in this week, this month's very issue of uh, fine woodworking, they did a different technique for uh, finishing a ball. So anyway, we're gonna get this mounted to the lathe. I hope you join me and let's go have some fun. Okay, so <clears throat> I've got it uh, going really well. Um, it's still too steep. I want more of a, uh, a shape to it, but I, it's uh, throwing me off with the, this bulbous here. So what I'm gonna do is establish my depth, get this cut down to where I want my tenon, and then I can uh, know where I need to end the curve. But I want it to kind of slope in a little bit more. Alrighty, so I actually sanded it up to 180. I guess it really doesn't matter since I'm gonna be uh, texturing it. But anyway, so according to the article, um, you take a 3 8 uh, inch uh, spindle gouge and almost like you're shear scraping, but you keep the tip. And from what I understand is, is it's not circles, it's a spiral. So you start and you move with the tool and you vary the rate of travel to get different textures in here. Let's see what it's gonna do. It's an experiment.
right, I guess that's good. Uh, we'll see how it does when I put the paint on it, but I think I'm gonna take this wire brush and just try to get some of the fibers down in there out. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be done or not, but that's what I'm gonna try. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So we got some milk paint in uh, Blue Moon, and this is kind of the color it'll be. So here goes nothing. Let's try to see if we can get this thing done. I'm gonna wind up putting a couple of coats on here. Alrighty, so I've got um, some 120 or 180 and uh, 240 that I'm going to try to gently just sand off the edges and just get uh, leave the, the paint in the valley. So that's what we're going to do.
I've got an unexpected surprise, uh, a good surprise. Look at that quilting there. I didn't even know that cotton wood could quilt, but look at that. Hopefully it can pick up on the camera. I think it, I think I see it there. But that is that is an unexpected gem. Alrighty, well that was a lot of fun. Um, what do you guys think about that the edge, the way that edge looks? I think that's pretty cool. Um, the texturing came out really nicely. I think if I would do it again, I would maybe use something like maple. And the reason is, is because this cut wood is a softer wood. So there is a little bit of a tear out in the valleys and that's okay. It, it adds to the abstract view of, of the texturing. But I think that I'd like to try it with maple maybe in the future just to see what that, if I could get a cleaner uh, finish to that. But I think it looks awesome. Uh, I hope you guys do also. Uh, if you did like it, give me that thumbs up. If you didn't, give me that thumbs down. That's okay. Uh, drop a comment. Tell me what do you think about this. Do it, you know, a lot of people may not like um, they just like a plain old simple bowl and I like that too, but I do like to mix it up. It was a great experiment, but let me know what you think. If this is your first time and you want to see other videos, click over here. If you want to become a subscriber, click up here, click that bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you.